coming up today, we have another whole house clean using my ultimate favourite, the 10 minute timer method. And I'll be spending 10 minutes in each room tidying as much as I can before the alarm goes off. I have a few of these videos on my channel now and that's because I just love this method so much. It's perfect if your life's really busy or if you've got things like ADHD. And of course, whenever you see a video of mine in vertical format, you'll know by now it was originally a TikTok. But I never want you guys over here to miss out on a video, so I'm bringing it here to you now. And I hope you enjoy watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do a whole house clean using 10 minute timers. You'd be amazed at how much you can get done in just 10 minutes. And honestly, with my house getting as messy as it does sometimes, this is my go-to for getting the bulk of the mess down quickly. And it's also my go-to for maintaining it when it isn't this bad. I just love using timers to clean. I know it's been a while since I last posted and that's because I have been putting all of my energy into sorting this. My bedroom cupboard. Look at the state of it. Well, this is what I managed to transform it into and I am so happy with it. And if you fancy watching how I did it, that's over on YouTube. But yeah, because I am such an all or nothing person and the cupboard sucked up all of my focus, the house has kind of gone to shit again. It happens. As always, not going to beat myself up about it, although a lot of people think that I should. I think it's pointless. And it's being sorted now, so. And it's a perfect opportunity for me to show you just how fast you can clean up a mess like this. It's not about getting it looking perfect, by the way. These timer cleans are to help you make progress, feel less overwhelmed, and to make room for you to then do the proper cleans and the deep cleans and all of that. Which is what I'll be doing in the next few videos. I'm going to do another spin the wheel series I think, but this time just for deep cleans. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in my spin the wheel series I get a random generator and I get it to choose which room I clean. I am all about tricking my brain into thinking cleaning's fun. Timers, random generators, I'll do anything. Anyway, after I've deep cleaned each room, I'm then going to do my quarterly declutter. I did a huge declutter of this house at the start of the year. And I made a promise to myself that I'd do preemptive declutters every three or four months just to stop it ever getting that bad again. So yeah, once that's all done, I'm hoping to just focus on my garden. The grass seed that I put down a few months ago is coming up really nicely and I'm just so excited to make a start. And we've got about 10 seconds left on the timer for this room and I'd say we did a pretty good job. Didn't manage at all, but that's okay. Because as you'll see in a bit, when I finish a room with time to spare... I'll bank it and I'll come back and use the rest of the time on the rooms I didn't manage to finish. And we're on to room two, which is the hallway. Let's see how much we can get done. I know a hallway is not technically a room, by the way, but for the purposes of this video, let's not be pedantic. Another reason I've been struggling with the house recently is because my health anxiety has been going through the roof. And I mean to a level I'm finding it hard to function. If you don't know what it's like to have your mental health rub off onto your environment, that's great. But please remember that not everyone copes or manages in the same way you do. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'm having to take my little one in for blood tests in a week or so. And I am catastrophizing to no end. I keep bursting into tears randomly, freezing on the spot. I'm not doing good. It's awful and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I've been like it since my eldest was born. Was never worried about anything before I became a mum. Now everything's worst case scenario and I cannot talk myself out of it. I did hoover here but for some reason didn't press film but we finished the hallway with three minutes left and came back into the bedroom to finish it off. But yeah, I used to be a trust your gut and follow your instincts person but I have since discovered not everyone can trust their gut because if my gut was a creature it would be one of those hysterical screaming goats. And if you ever meet me in person I might look calm and I might be all happy and chirpy but inside the goat is screaming. Nah, not all the time, but whenever one of my kids is remotely poorly, I can't cope, I'm completely useless, I just shut down. Anyway, I'm trying really hard to distract myself and stay logical and positive. And focusing on getting the house nice and lovely seems to be working today. Clearly doesn't work all the time, but I'm riding the waves of it all and just doing what I can when I can. Next room up was the bathroom, and as you can see, it's a shambles, just like every other room upstairs. Downstairs isn't too bad, and that's because I've been prioritising the rooms we spend the most time in over the rooms upstairs. And you'll be proud to hear, even amongst all of this chaos, the stairs were completely clear for once. Got to celebrate the little wins, haven't you? Now, I cannot wait to sink my teeth into some deep cleaning. 
As ridiculous as it sounds, judging from the state of my house these last few months, I love nothing more than a deep clean. Terrible at tidying and keeping on top of mess, but I love cleaning. That's the problem though, isn't it? In order to deep clean properly, you need a tidy environment. And I'm forever putting all of my energy into the tidying part. And look, it's not always like this. Sometimes I function very well for months on end. But it only takes one thing to trip me up. Falling out of routine for just a day is enough for the house to then look like this. But anyway, I'm going to go full on with these deep cleans. I'll be pulling the sofa in the bed out to see what's lurking behind there. Using the carpet vac, cleaning the window frames because they are revolting. I'll be cleaning the oven, touching up the skirting boards and whatever else I can find. I cannot wait. So for the time being, because I don't have that much time, I'm just giving things a little wipe down. It's the Easter holidays and I wanted to get this done as quick as I could so I could enjoy the time with my boys. And we finished the bathroom with 30 seconds to spare. 30 seconds I'm adding on to this room. And as you can see, that extra 30 seconds is very much needed. My main aim for this 10 minutes was to just get the floor clear. As you probably already know, my two-year-old likes to get out every single toy he possibly can all at once, but he hasn't yet mastered the art of putting it all back where he found it. And I'm not joking when I say this room can go from pristine to this within minutes. Which is another reason I can't wait to get my decluttering hat on when it comes to this room in particular. This room and the living room. Anyway, I hope by now you're getting an idea of just how much of a difference you can make in 10 minutes. You do not have to spend hours and days on a mess like this. Which is what I used to think. And that used to make me put things off and put things off until they were genuinely out of control. What you really need if you want to get it done fast is a system and a plan for each room. For example, my system usually goes like this. I'll look at the room and I'll categorise it into things like rubbish, pots, toys, clothes. And then I'll get each thing done one at a time. And that way you can see the dent that's made when you check each thing off your list. And it makes you think, yes, I can actually do this. All the while you're spurred on by the time deadline as well. And yeah, another way I'll do it is I'll split the room itself into sections. Like I've done in the boys room here. And I'll say to myself, right. We'll clear this quarter of the room first and then I'll gradually move through the space. Same concept with both things though, it's making it so that you can see a difference really quickly. Since figuring out systems that work for me, now I know that even though my space gets messy very fast, I can sort it fast. And it's not as daunting of a prospect as I once thought it was. This is the part where people usually pipe up and say, if you picked up as you went along, there wouldn't be mess at all. Well, yes, <laughs> that would be ideal, wouldn't it? I guess it just comes down to you either get why this happens or you don't get it. And that's okay. We're all very different and our brains all work differently. All that matters is you try in and you find in ways that work for you. I'm the kind of person who cleans up the whole day's worth of mess each morning. Because that's when I'm most productive. Ask me to clean up at night after the kids have gone to bed? No chance. I have no more spoons left. I figured out a while back that if I wanted the house to be clean, even for a few minutes, the best chance of it happening was to do it as soon as I wake up, before I do anything else. And yeah, I might struggle with pick up as you go along throughout the day, because I get distracted. <laughs> but at least I'm still getting it done each day. And if you're anything like me, try not to let people get you down. Your way of doing things might not make sense or seem practical to other people, but that doesn't matter at the end of the day. They don't know what it's like to live inside your brain and you don't know what it's like to live inside their brain. Anyway, for this room I had the cleaning up song on YouTube to help encourage the boys to clean up some toys. Someone suggested it the other week and honestly, the first time I played it, they got proper into it and we got the room cleared together in record time. Now, they get distracted and just sit and watch it. The apple clearly doesn't fall far from the tree. Never mind, they did help some. Rudy turns eight soon and we're getting a chore chart for him to give him a job to do around the house each day. At the minute he just helps when he's asked to help. But I feel like this will help him feel more involved and responsible and help him get into the habit of routine from a young age because I, as an adult, really struggle with routine. And he's really excited about it, bless him. Long may that last. I will say this though. I think one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to me is that I'm messy because I must have grown up in a messy household or a home with no structure or rules. And it was 100% the opposite. 
My mum and my stepdad were, and still are, very clean and house proud. You can imagine the stress I caused daily. And this is why I try and reiterate so often that yes, while it is good to teach habits and routine from a young age, genetics and nature, the way we're wired, will still come into play. And I think people underestimate just how much. My mum tried to mould me into a tidier person until she was blue in the face. And the fact is, I am, by nature, just not. And I rebelled against all of her efforts and actually went in the opposite direction because it caused me so much stress. I genuinely thought there was something wrong with me because I wasn't like everyone else in the house. And I found it so hard to keep my space tidy. Turns out I was like my dad, my auntie, my granddad, but I didn't live with them. It wasn't until adulthood that I managed to find ways to keep on top of things that somewhat worked for me. So it's very important to me as a mum to try and get a feel of who my children are and will be in that respect. And to try and adapt my parenting techniques around that. Oh, it's hard being a parent, isn't it? The guilt. The constant guilt. Anyway, we're on to the kitchen and the final room in the house. Woohoo! Apologies for this, by the way. Had to clear the sink out and give it a clean before I started washing the pots. Generally, when I do a 10 minute timer clean on the kitchen, most of that time is spent on the pots. But as I said, it wasn't too bad to begin with. The table's a bit cluttered, but mostly it's just pots that need to be done. Have you managed to figure out how long this house clean would have taken in total? Factoring in all of the rooms. 70 minutes. Just over an hour to get all of this done. I'd say that's pretty good going. And when you keep up with this system each day, it'll make such a difference in your life. It might be that you don't even need to use 10 minutes for each room. It could be just a quick 5 minute top up here and there. That'll never be the case for me, but... (laughs) It'll depend on your circumstances, whether you've got kids or pets, which rooms you use the most, all of that. And obviously I had quite a task ahead of me on this occasion because the mess had piled up a bit. But most of the time it just keeps things simple and stops me getting overrun with it all. And I highly recommend it. So yeah, can I just say, if you've made it this far into the video, you are a trooper. Because this video is 12 minutes long. I didn't even know you could make a video longer than 10 minutes until a few days ago. Still don't plan to make many this long on TikTok, but I wanted to fit everything in. Anyway, we're almost done. Just like with the bedroom, I didn't manage to finish everything, the table's still messy, but I'm chuffed with what I did get done. Now, let's look at the before and after, shall we? As I said earlier, these time cleans aren't about transforming your house into a showroom or making everything pristine. And the before and afters are gonna reflect that. But they're here to show you just how much you can get done in a short space of time, and that it's important to celebrate all forms of progress, whether big or small. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to quickly squeeze it in before Easter, just in case anyone was having visitors over tomorrow and needed some house cleaning motivation. And for anyone celebrating, or anyone who's just excited to be off work and enjoying the break and spending time with loved ones, I hope you have a beautiful, relaxed day, and that you allow yourself to put your cleaning hat down for a bit and just rest. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.